Dave Messer Smith, and we're back again uh, with my colleague Tom Murphy. Tom is a member of Penn State's Marcellus Education Team and also an extension educator in Pennsylvania with Penn State University. If I'm a landowner that does not want to lease my property for uh, gas extraction, uh, can a company drill under my property and steal my gas? The question we get commonly is what it is. Have your answer to that question. Sure, Dave. In Pennsylvania, the way that the law is currently written is a company can drill up to a property line, but they can't drill under your property if you're not leased. So you would either have to be leased to the company that wants to do the drilling, or you would have to be leased to another company that might partner with the first company to be able to, for any of the companies to be able to drill under you legally. To do so otherwise would be considered trespass, or in this case, subsurface trespass here in Pennsylvania. So Tom, as we think about uh, wells being developed, if, if they can't drill under your property, what, uh, how close can they drill to your property? Is there a setback from a well bore to a property line, or um, how, how close can they drill to your property? Dave, currently with current uh, law in Pennsylvania is that a company in the Marcellus, as long as it's above what they refer to as the Onondaga Formation, a company could drill potentially up to the property line. Now, we don't necessarily see that in a lot of places in Pennsylvania when we're looking at the number of the permits and the number of the maps that are, that are being uh, shown out there for the uh, permitted wells. Uh, typically, there is an, an area between the end of the well bore and the property line, but technically, legally, they could drill right up to the property line. As, as a landowner, um, you can't see the well bore from the surface. So how, uh, how do you know, how are you assured that the company is not drilling it anyway. The company is not drilling into your property anyway. Yeah. What we, how we typically answer that question, Dave, is that the uh, there is no big brother, so to speak, that is uh, uh, watching that or maintaining uh, what that what the end of that well bore would be, other than what shows up on the permit. So there's a sense of trust there that the well is being drilled according to what the uh, well was permitted to be drilled as. So the bottom of the hole for that well would show up on the map and that's where it should be relative to the property lines. Now we do have the, the rural capture in Pennsylvania and I think one of your questions was touching on that. So if gas were to flow from a neighbor property to the well bore and be extracted by the company that's working on that, that gas would, would then go to the person that captured the gas. That's the rural capture in Pennsylvania. So then the question would be, well, how far white, white gas move in that shale? And that gas doesn't move very far, very fast. Uh, estimates at this point, because of the density, and it would depend where you're at, is you could be looking at some, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, um, uh, 10 feet in 50 years. So it's a very, very slow movement of that gas in an unfractured type of scenario. So Tom, and one last question on this, if the gas uh, doesn't migrate very far through the rock that's not fractured, um, is a fracture that uh, trespasses under my property, is that considered, is that considered trespass? If a, if a well bore uh, runs along the boundary of my property and then fractures emanate from that bore into my property, is that considered is that considered uh, trespass? Yeah, actually, Dave, in Pennsylvania, by Pennsylvania rules, regs, and, and the, the law that we operate with here in Pennsylvania, we're seeing some mixed opinions on, on whether that's uh, considered a trespass, subsurface trespass or not. So it would appear to be a gray area that has not been legally uh, defined yet as to whether or not uh, the frack extending into an unleased uh, property, whether that would be considered uh, trespass. So, jury is still out on that, uh, maybe literally in this case, and we're, and we're waiting to hear uh, some kind of uh, definition over time. Okay, well, Tom, I think that helps clear up uh, one of the commonly asked questions that we, we get uh, frequently. So, Tom, I appreciate that. You're welcome, Dave.